I'm Miss Andrea from Adams Memorial Library and today in this video I will be showing you how to make our fall tree craft. Um, so make sure you pick up a kit at the library to make this craft. What you will need um, when you pick up your kit you'll see inside there is a little bag with the pom-poms and the yarn and some q-tips, a thing of glue, a piece of white cardstock, and then you may need to grab at home a pair of scissors to use for our craft today and once you have these things assembled we'll be ready to get started. Okay, so to make our fall tree craft, you can see the first example ha I have here that I made. I'm just gonna push to the side so you can see kind of what it'll look like once we're finished. But what you will need is that sheet of cardstock that should have come in your craft kit, um, a pair of scissors. So if you have some scissors at home, make sure you grab those. And then also in that craft kit that you picked up at the library, you will see there is a little bag here. It has some different colored pom-poms. There's some brown yarn in there and then two Q-tips and then you're gonna need your thing of glue as well, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is open up your bag and you wanna pull out the long string of yarn. So be careful with the little pom-pom uh, tag-alongs, if you will. All right, so I'm just gonna throw those back in my bag until I'm ready for them. And then you wanna pull out your Q-tips. I'll just grab my Q-tips and I'm gonna set this bag off to the side. Okay, so you'll need your cardstock sheet, you have your Q-tips, your yarn, and your glue. Now, what I did is I started off by making the base of my tree. Um, to start the base, I just did one simple strip of glue right up the center and then I kind of curved at the top. So it's kind of like, Imagine this is your pencil and you're drawing the line, but instead of drawing the line, I'm just doing a line of glue in the way that I want my tree to look. And you can make your tree however you'd like. So if you wanna follow the pattern that I'm showing you, that's fine. If you wanna give yours more branches, make it go in different directions, that's fine too. Um, you should have plenty of yarn here to do that. So what you wanna do is you wanna start by just taking your Q-tip and dip it into your glue. And then you're just gonna kinda put on a curved line. So it might take a couple dips to get your glue thick enough. You don't wanna put too thick of a glob on there, but enough that it's really gonna anchor that yarn. So again, I'm just kinda making a curved line. I'll hold that up so you can kind of see it. Just a curved line, okay? And once I have enough glue on there, I might add a little bit more in my center here. I'm gonna take my yarn, rub one end, and just lay it on that glue line that I just put down on my paper. Lay it down like this. Again, just attaching it where it's glued. And I'm gonna take my scissors. Cut. And if you need to reposition your yarn a little bit, you can. Okay, so this is the start of the base of my tree. Now I'm gonna take my Q-tip again, put some more glue on it, and I'm gonna follow that line and make another line kind of right next to where I just placed my first string of yarn. And you can see my yarn shifted a little bit. That's fine. You can always reposition it. The glue dries quick, but not that quickly. Okay, so I did another line of glue right next to my other. So I'm going to pick up my yarn again. Place it on my glue. Now I would suggest, um, as I have tried it both ways, I would suggest just leaving your yarn one big long piece and doing it as I'm doing it. So as you glue your line or as you paint your glue lines, stick the yarn down on it and then just cut it off at the end. Um, mainly because you can kind of play with it a little bit as you go. So maybe you want to make this branch a little longer, this one a little shorter. It allows you to kind of 
finagle with that a little bit more other than just right off the bat cutting your yarn into pieces. Okay. So now this is pretty much the trunk or the base of my tree. I made it two yarn strands thick um, on this one. I did three strands. So however thick you want your tree to be, you can just keep adding. Right now I'm going to leave mine with two strands. But like I said, if you want the trunk a little bit thicker, you can always paint another line of glue and add another string of yarn. I'm going to go ahead and start working on my branches. So I'm going to have another, I'm going to take some more glue and make another branch kind of angled off this one. And if at any point you feel like some of your ends come up, you need to apply more glue, you can. And same thing. Take the yarn, lay it down on my glue line. Cut, and like I said, you can always reposition if it gets a little off while you're cutting. You can make it curve, a straight branch, however you like. And then I'm going to make some little branches off of my big branch there. So again, I'm just going to take more glue, paint some smaller branches. Again, I'm just laying the yarn right down there on my glue line. I'm kind of cutting it to the length I want. All right, you can see the branches are kind of starting to form. Um, now, if I want, I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to make another branch off this side of the tree. Place my yarn down. cut and then I'm going to do two more little branches off this one so again if you notice your yarn shifting a little bit that's fine just press it down or apply more glue if you need to it will take a little bit of time for it to dry before it's really going to set into place like you can see on my other example So now I have the base of my tree with the branches and you can feel, feel free to add off more break off branches and more smaller branches on yours. Um, you can see I added a couple more on this one as well. But for my example here, I just wanna show you a little bit to get you started and then you can continue branching off as much as you like. All right, now the next part I wanna show you is how to build the base of your tree. So right now it kind of just looks like this little twig right here. We wanna build up the base. So you really get a nice base or a trunk to your bottom there to your tree, okay? So to do that, all I did was take some glue and then just kind of went off of my bottom yarn here. And then this is maybe where you feel it helpful to add that third piece because it allows you to branch out the trunk a little bit and look more natural or the base of your tree. So all I did was when I took my string, I'm gonna apply a little bit more glue here. Okay. So I took my string and then I just kind of lined it up with my trunk here and angled it out. So I kind of have the outline part and I'm gonna fill it in here in just a moment, but I wanted to get my outline of the bottom part of my tree, okay? Now I already still have some glue in there, so I think I'm pretty good. I might just add a little bit more dab just to make sure that yarn, when it dries, it's fully attached. And then what I did so I took the string right along this piece I just glued. And 
And then I'm going to continue to do that. until this is filled in. And the nice thing about this is you can always keep adding yarn to make your tree wider. Um, or like I said, it takes a little bit for that glue to dry. So if you add a piece and you really don't like it, you can easily just pill up the yarn. So you can always adjust your tree at any point while you're doing it. putting down yarn until my base is pretty much filled in. Okay, so this one goes a little bit towards that one side, like I said. If I wanna build it up a little bit on the other side, I can always add a strip down. And do the same the other way. And this is where it can get a little sticky <laughs> from all the glue, but I really want to make sure that I really kind of push these three pieces together so that it looks like they're all connected. I think I need to add a little bit more glue down here. Okay. And then I can do the same thing, just fill in. More yarn. And as you can see, even with all this filling in and the adding a thickening of the tree, I still have a lot of yarn left. So feel free to make as many branches and how thick of a base that you want. You do have plenty of yarn here. You can see, just like before, I'm just filling it in. Like I said, if you trim that off more, make it a little bit more even, that's fine too. But now I'm ready to add my pom-poms. And um, I will point out that depending on how curved you made your line or if you wanna make your tree curve a little bit more, you can always add off more branches to the side. You can see this one I kind of have curving more towards this way. This one's a little bit more straight up the center. It's all in the preference of how you want your tree to look. And then the pom-poms are really simple. You're going to do it very similar to the yarn and that you're just going to take your Q-tip, put on some dabs of glue, wherever you want to place a pom-pom or a little leaf. And then once you put your little dab of glue, you can just place your pom-pom. So you can put as many as you want um, on your branches. You can add some down at the base of your tree. I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue. All right, and like I said, you have plenty of pom-poms, so feel free to add as many as you want. I'm just gonna add this to give you a little bit of 
feel for how you add on those pom-poms. You can see um, I added some more in the top branches of my trees. If you do more branches, you can add more pom-poms. Um, if you want to attach them to the base of your tree, you can do that as well. You just have to put a dab of glue down and put the pom-pom down. Now, um, once you have everything in place and you're ready to let it or to hang it or to use it, please make sure you just let it lay flat long enough for it to dry. Once it dries, it's pretty anchored on there. Um, I have not had any pom-poms falling off yet. Um, so it'll anchor on pretty pretty well for you, but you do have to give it a good amount of time for the glue to dry. All right. Um, the second Q-tip too, if it, it's in there, if you feel, because I know after so long, the top of your Q-tip can get a little thick or harder to paint with, paint the glue on. Um, so you can always use the other end or feel free to use that second Q-tip in there. It's just a little spare backup um, if your first one gets a little worn out. All right, so there you go. There is our fall tree craft. I hope you enjoyed making it with me. Um, please feel free to bring them in to the library. We'd love to see them. Keep an eye out on our calendar for future events and future crafts coming up. You can view it online or if you stop in the library um, to pick up a calendar as well. Happy tree crafting. <laughs>